Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We are currently still in the month of June, which apparently means that it's, yes, still Pride Month for people in the LGBT whatever community. Not for me. I don't celebrate Pride Month and I never will. Thank you very much. I don't like the month as a whole. And these people seem to get, I think it is 200 something days of the year to celebrate different forms of whatever it means to be part of the LGBT whatever group or community. It's absolutely ridiculous if you ask me, but alas, Mother's Day, Father's Day, I only get one day. And same with our veterans, they literally only get maybe one or two days of the year, Anzac Day and Remembrance Day. I mean, I think that is really a massive rort, but no, we've got to celebrate these people worshipping the cardinal sin of them all, the number one sin, that being pride. I find it absolutely a massive slap in the face to all those that went and served. But anyway, I've shared that many, many times before. But also because it is Pride Month, we have all these corporations uh, that want to pander and they want to seem like they are all in favour and all in support of these people that continue to worship Pride. And one of those companies happens to be the likes of Lego. I made a video about this last year during Pride Month, I believe it was, how Lego decided to go full woke and create a line of Lego items that were in favor and full support of Pride Month and full support and full favor of the LGBT whatever. And that included uh, these Lego pieces that little kids play with, I'll have you know, and you go to a Lego store or shop, wherever they have them, and kids can actually play with these Lego figurines and they can create things with the Lego blocks that resemble pride memorabilia or pride material. No child should ever have to see any of that stuff, I'll have you know, but alas, Lego wants to indoctrinate your kids because, you know, God forbid that they don't do any of that. God forbid they say, you know what, we're not going to push this down anyone else's throats. The And kids, especially kids, we're not going to touch them. We're going to allow kids to just play normally and not have any innuendo or any hidden sexualized messages in our Lego. I mean, that's what you'd like. I remember growing up and playing with Playmobil and Lego, not as much, but more Playmobil, which is a lot better in my opinion. You know, pirates, um, you know, you had Roman soldiers, you had all kinds of things that, you know, were actually really cool medieval weaponry and you used, used to play with that all the time. It was amazing. It was fun. But nowadays it seems like, no, kids can't use their imagination for themselves which they wouldn't even come anywhere close to the LGBT whatever narrative. No, kids nowadays, they have to be told what they should play with, and that is Rainbow Alphabet Mafia, all that sort of stuff. You've got to have the rainbow. You've got to have all these figurines in bondage gear. You've got to have all that sort of stuff for kids to play with and for, for kids to, to learn all about. So they're not allowed to just play normally with normal things you consider normal and healthy, like the Playmobil stuff was historical. This kind of stuff ain't historical at all. They're trying to make it like it's historical by saying it's Pride Month and all that sort of stuff, but it's not. It's far from it, if you ask me. What it is is them trying to force something down everyone's throats that we don't actually want, including kids. Leave the kids alone, for goodness sake, but they won't do that. So anyway... Lego or Lego Group just unveiled a new LGBT pride campaign aimed at children, which features drag queens and people in pup, uh, you know what, gear attending a pride parade. Because as we know, these people love to parade themselves around in all of their so called glory. They love to showcase the perverseness and the sexualization of society by doing it. They love to showcase what they get up to in the bedroom because nothing says love is love and nothing says pride than you showcasing all the nonsense out to everybody else that doesn't actually give a crap. They just want to go on with their life. Me being, I don't want to see any of that stuff if I'm walking down the street. I just want to 
leave me the hell alone. I'll leave you the hell alone. Simple as that. I don't want to know how you decide to swing. But it seems to be, in today's day and age, seems to be like the coolest thing to do. If you're not part of the LGBT whatever group, then you're not cool. I'll have you know, I'm cool without all that stuff. Thank you very much. But anyway, these people seem to think so. So have a watch of the Legos ad that they recently unveiled their new LGBT pride campaign. Starts off with pride parade, mini stories. You have a rainbow being created. You have the people sliding down the rainbow. I'm presuming they're old lesbians picking themselves up and going, walking across all this fancy stuff. Then you have all the colors of the so-called rainbow diving into a pool. You get it. Like then you have the yeah, the bondage gear and all that sort of stuff. Like kids are going to be playing with this and going like what? And then you have the float, which by the way, doesn't this look like the Tower of Babel to you? Like if you know your Bible, if you know the stories of the Bible, one of those is the Tower of Babel, people thinking that they wanted to reach heaven. They decided to create a tower and God said, no, nah, that's not going to happen. So they went down and confounded the languages and, and no one could understand each other. But it seems to be like the cardinal sin, pride, was what led people to do that particular thing. They wanted to reach heaven so they could be better than God. So these people have decided to create a float and it just goes up like a tower, bit by bit by bit. So you have the number one person at the very, very top. Man wants to be at the very, very top. Man wants to be above the creator. Amazing that. Could it be that pride is leading them to be the number one creator? Man, I don't know too much, but I know that for a fact. Man always wants, because of pride being the number one sin, the cardinal sin, we have that desire to be number one always. Not just with our friends and family members or in society, we have that desire for fame, for satisfaction, for glorification, all that sort of stuff. And that is exactly what the LGBT community is doing. Trying to be all about me. Look at me. And so they put themselves on major pedestals. I mean, if you saw in that ad, you had uh, people dressed up in the gear that no child should ever have any business looking at or knowing about, but it's not age appropriate at all, if you ask me. But they want young kids to see it. They want young kids to play with it. And I don't know how that's got to do with acceptance or whatever else, but, hey, if Lego wants it, Lego gets it. That's the way it goes, isn't it? Anyway, my friends, you guys take care. You be blessed, and I'll see you all in the next video.